Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Watch World and today, like most other watch channels on YouTube, we are going to be talking about potential rumours and releases from Rolex for the upcoming Watches and Wonders Festival. So guys, I hope you are all keeping well and safe. Before we start today's video, a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing my DW5600, uh, my beta watch, my daily beta watch. I was out for a run earlier, so uh, I have this on to time how I was doing. So as most of you guys know, in the uh, near future now, on April 7th, uh, the Watches and Wonders Festival will be held, and Rolex, one of the biggest names there, will be releasing their new models. So naturally that means a lot of rumours have been circulating about what they might do this year, what's going to be discontinued, what's new that they're going to be bringing out. So today I'm going to talk about some of the rumours that I think might happen for Rolex in 2021. So the first one is something that everyone has been talking about and this is the Rolex Explorer 2. It is the 50th anniversary of the watch this year. And many people believe it is going to receive a ceramic bezel. So these fan-made images here are of what the watch could look like if it was given a black ceramic bezel. Uh, the good thing about a ceramic bezel is that it is scratch resistant, whereas the current Explorer 2 only has a stainless steel bezel. So therefore, upgrading it to a ceramic bezel would make it much more scratch resistant, which I think is a good thing, especially as this watch is a tool watch. And it is designed to be uh, used and beaten up and, you know, to take that kind of punishment. So I think upgrading it to a scratch resistant bezel would be a very good thing from Rolex. So fans have also been calling for the watch to be reduced from its 42mm case size down to 40mm. But somehow I just don't see this happening. I think this is very unlikely for Rolex to do. So continuing with the Explorer line, and there have also been a lot of rumours circulating about the Explorer 1. Some of the rumours include bumping the case size up from its current 39mm up to 41mm, and also giving the watch a white dial. So the watch was originally produced in 36mm, and when they bumped it up to 39 it was met with a lot of criticism from fans who were much more in favourable of the 36mm model. They upped the size but they didn't increase the 3, 6 and 9 markers so it kind of all looked out of proportion and out of place. So unless they do that to the markers if they up it to 41mm, I just don't see Rolex moving the watch up to 41mm given the unpopularity of the 39mm version. So I actually have a feeling that the Explorer 1 could be discontinued this year. So it's not as popular as the Explorer 2, that's well known. The Explorer 2 seems to be a lot more popular amongst fans than the Explorer 1. And also, if it were to be discontinued, this would obviously lead to a huge price increase in the Explorer 1. Now, not a huge price, but you know the value of the watch will go up if Rolex stop producing the model. So although it's an unlikely thing to happen, I wouldn't be surprised if Rolex discontinued the Explorer 1. Although it might be unlikely that the watch gets discontinued, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. You know, Rolex are well known for doing things very different to what the fans have been calling for. So as an outside theory, I wouldn't be surprised if they discontinued the Explorer 1. Could we see the return of the Coke? The Coke bezel on the GMT Master has been discontinued for some time now, and there have been a lot of rumours in the last couple of years that it could be brought back into production. So when Rolex released its new models last September, in September 2020, they did not do anything to the GMT line, the GMT Master, so it could very well possibly be in line for something this year, and I think bringing back the Coke bezel could definitely be on the cards this year. This is a popular watch among Rolex fans, so bringing it back would make sense for them to do. The Classic Daytona is the next watch that has been spoken about a lot in recent weeks. There have been talks of green bezel and green subdial variants, and also blue bezel and blue subdial variants being made this year. 
And a pr uh, price increase, no, a size increase has also been on the cards as well. So personally, and this is just my opinion, I don't think Rolex will bring in any new color schemes for the Daytona this year. I think they will up the size to 41 millimeters and even possibly 42 millimeters. I wouldn't be surprised. 41 is the more likely option of the two, but I wouldn't be surprised if they went up to 42 either. So I think Rolex will definitely announce a size increase for the Daytona in the next coming weeks, but I do not think at the moment they will bring in any new color schemes. Rolex have increased a lot of their watches sizes in recent years. The Submariner, the Rolex Explorer 2, the Oyster Perpetual are all examples of their models that have been increased in size. And I think this year it could definitely be the Daytona's turn for that. So the likelihood is that it will go to 41 millimeters, although I wouldn't rule out 42 either as an outside shot. Uh, this will also lead to an end in the production of 40 millimeter Daytonas, which means their price will go up as well. You know, as if they haven't gone up already uh, enough in the last two years. You know, 30 grand for a Panda at the moment is just absolutely insane. But, you know, if they discontinued the 40 millimeters, they could go up even more. So those are my main predictions for what Rolex will do this year in 2021. There have also been rumors circulating of the Submariner being given an Oyster Flex strap like the Skydweller Sky did last year. But I don't think they're going to do that for the Submariner this year. They already upgraded the Submariner back in last September, upping the size to 41. So I just can't see them messing with it again this year. We could definitely see the Submariner with an Oyster Flex strap in the future, but this year I don't think it will happen. So all these rumors have been floating around recently and more, but this is what I think Rolex will do for 2021. We will find out soon enough anyway. April 7th is when the Watches and Wonders Festival begins. So we will all be anticipating what happens with Rolex on April 7th. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that subscribe button. It really would help out the channel a lot. Let me know down in the comments what your predictions would be for Rolex this year, what you think they will do. And I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you again very soon. Until then, take care for now, guys.